Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is a beautiful Tuesday morning here in uh, Boston, Mass. This is day 638 of the Three Plus Minutes of Play Challenge. And as always, I am filled with gratitude. Thoughts on my mind this morning. Uh, I'm here in Boston, um, back in the swing of things, back to work. And uh, I don't know if you can hear it in the background. There's a lot going on, even at, uh, I think it's uh, a little bit past five o'clock in the morning. Um, yesterday, when I got in yesterday, I saw one of my best friends here at JetBlue. His name is Antoine. And Antoine's just an amazing friend to me because a lot of times we just get to talk. We get to um, commiserate. And um, he asked me a question yesterday that really hit me in uh, such an amazing way. He asked me, what would I say to my younger self? Like, what advice would I give to my younger self? And I'll kind of give you a summary of the answer. I said, um, I first spoke about my daughter and my daughter is in a lot of ways a representation of me and my childhood and what I wanted to do differently in my childhood. And I said, one of the things that I wish that I had different in my childhood was that I had me like my daughter has me um, to help her be the best version of herself. Um, a parent that is loving, um, that is strict at times, that loves her and tells her how special she is and allows her to be the best versions of herself, even in the failures. A parent that um, admit when he's wrong and try to correct the problem instead of just saying, you're always right. A, a parent that allows her to try and fail to become a better version of herself. And then he asked me, well, that's good, but what's specifically you? And I said, the best advice I would give to my younger self is to be authentic, to be who you are, uh, not to be afraid to fail, to be the best version of yourself, to be as creative as you want to be, to enjoy being the inner child um, and understand um, that you are valuable and that there's no combination of skills, the combination of skills that you have, that there's no one else that has that. And I would tell him to let him know, you are a king or possible, you're a prince becoming a king. And you have all the tools and all the things that you need to be the best versions of yourself. And that's what I would tell him. But the other part of it that I told him is that also at the same time, I think that everyone has their different timelines and that I needed to go through all the things that I went through in my childhood to be the version of myself I am today. So I guess ultimately I would say, just keep living your life and everything will come out and play out the way it's supposed to because God has a great plan for you. Anyway, this is thoughts on my mind. As always, be blessed today and every day. Peace.